Greetings from Doha, Qatar, where desert meets the Persian Gulf, and where local traditions and culture meet rapid changes in population, education, industry, and infrastructure. In teaching my undergraduate and graduate courses from here, I use a variety of online technologies to engage my students, organize and present content, and facilitate interactions. I teach courses in instructional design, technology integration, educational multimedia, and learning theories, and I try to model good pedagogy in the way that I design my courses and deliver the instruction. I draw from Universal Design for Learning in the way that I build in multiple options for students to learn course content, such as through readings, video lectures, and hands-on activities, and multiple options for the ways that students can demonstrate what they are learning, including traditional tests, graphical and video projects, and use of Web 2.0 tools. Being outside of the U.S., I have found that some online tools and resources are not available when accessed overseas. As my students do occasionally travel internationally, it is helpful to learn myself which tools are not limited to U.S. use only. Some of my students have difficulties with English, so I try to build in support such as providing transcripts to video lectures that will help them to learn the course material more successfully. Other students have specific learning and memory disabilities, and I have found that consistent presentation and organization of the course materials, module video introductions, listings of the complete course activities and due dates, and regular announcements and reminder emails have helped to accommodate these learners. I also have students who struggle with health impairments and may come to Houston not only to advance their education, but also to receive treatments at one of the cancer or other specialty hospitals. The flexibility of accessing my courses online allows these students the ability to participate from anywhere and at any time. At the K-12 level, teachers are using technology to make instruction more interactive and concepts more visible. Here are a few examples from the SEK International School, Qatar. Hello, my name is Dorinda Lemicket and I'm a preschool five teacher at SEC Qatar, an international school here in Doha. And I've been using technology for about three years now in my lessons. In SEC Qatar, we have a very diverse student population. They come from all over the world with backgrounds um, in English, Arabic, and Spanish. So when I teach English, I like to try to use the smart board to differentiate for my low, medium, and high students. So for instance, with this sentence activity, uh, I like to talk to the students and, and kind of ask them, okay, what do we need for, um, what different parts do we need for a sentence? Maybe the students would compare the different words and they would try to see which word has a capital in it because they know that the beginning of a sentence needs a capital letter. So they would come here and I would have a volunteer come and they come and find the word, okay, here. Then they know that a sentence usually ends with a punctuation mark. So they would look, oh, is there a, is there a period here? Is there a period here? Is there one here? <gasps> okay, there's a period here. So then the students would come and then they would put it at the end because they know it is what goes at the end of the sentence. And then hopefully by reading here, blank, blank, snow. Here the is snow. Here is the snow. And so hopefully by, by kind of doing a process of elimination, they can put the rest of the words where they belong. Now with um, a higher uh, level, I would ask them to add more things to the sentence to make it more colorful and interesting. So maybe they can say, here is the very cold snow, or here is the very colorful snow, depending on um, what they want to add, just so that it would add a little more depth into it and, and make it um, up to their level. So my name is Mihai Katrinar and I'm a physical education teacher at uh, Sekatar. It is an IB school here in Doha and I've been using technology for more than four years in my PE lessons. Using uh, technology in my lessons helped me to improve students' learning as well as my own learning and efficiency in delivering different concepts or skills. And with the use of technology in the daily lives of our students, there is a big importance of how well us as teachers can learn and how are we prepared to teach with the tools we have in hand nowadays and from here the importance of having a 
very strong foundation and a digital literacy for it. I believe that it helped me a lot to differentiate between students with different needs, uh, coming from different backgrounds or cultures, and I'm talking here about students that are not so well gifted from the physical standpoint, uh, and it's also about the students that can perform very well, but they need an extra uh, stimulus to uh, to uh, to do better. Thank you.